What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. Right now I'm really excited, I've just found out that a few days ago the Ark devs did release a photo of the second hybrid dino or mystery dino so to say. A long time ago they did release the first one kind of hinting towards uh, crossbreeds, mutations and hybrids sort of stuff like that and now we've finally seen the second one. I will cut back to the first one a bit later, but right now I'm just going to quickly take a look at the new one that's just recently been announced. So taking a look at this new hybrid dino, it really is unique and first off I'm just going to take a look at its head. I've noticed it has spikes coming out the side of its head and in my opinion, I could be wrong, nobody really knows, this is a complete mutation so it could be a, so many different potential dinos that could make up this one. but. It's either got the head of an Ankylo, as it has the spikes coming out of the side. This is what really, like, kind of shed light on it for me. Or, I have no, I have been looking at a few of the dossiers, and the Pachycephalosaurus has the exact same sort of positioning and alignment with spikes on the outside of its head. So, I instantly look at this and thought of the Pachy when I saw the spikes on its head. As well as its beaky mouth and its long nose, it definitely does remind me of the Pachycephalosaurus. The only difference being, obviously on this guy, his head is completely flat and doesn't have that big rounded bit which the Pachy does have to ram its opponents. Taking a look at its body structure, it does remind me a lot of the Ankylosaurus. It has the same sort of body structure, same sort of like tail despite having the big ball on the end. Its legs aren't as low to the ground as they are in the Ankylo, so this guy does look quite a bit taller. Taking a look at its tail though, um, in my opinion it's not going to use its tail for an attack, even if it, well nobody really knows what its attack is going to be yet, because by the looks of it it's a herbivore, nobody knows exactly what the attack is going to be or what farming capabilities it's going to have. The dossier here doesn't really show much, as obviously this isn't an official dino that's definitely coming, this is just some sort of like teaser. I'm sure we will end up seeing this in the future, but for now it's just, this is all we have, just these small little images and this picture of the guy here. But yeah, getting back to its tail, it doesn't have the spiked ball like the Dodeocrus or the Ankylo, so that makes me wonder if the tail is going to be used for anything at all. In my opinion, it's not. It's just there for, a, just there because it's a dino. You know, all dinos have tails. It doesn't really have a reason. Um, but in terms of, but in terms of farming, I don't think it's going to be used at all. Now, taking a look at the spine, uh, this is what really confuses me. Because if this was a crossbreed or a mutation, the only two things in the game that have a spine is the Spinosaurus and the Dimetrodon. And neither of these two, in my eyes, would have crossbreeded with an Ankylo. Saying that, um, I'm not just talking about crossbreeds. This can just be random baby mutations that happen out of completely nowhere. I'm hoping in the future, Ark is going to add some sort of genetically modifying capabilities that you can alter dinos quite a bit. Hopefully not too much. I don't want anybody making some sort of super giga or something, something insane like that. But, you know, just so you can add some cool new designs to your dino, you can have a pretty freaky looking Ankylo, which would be pretty cool. It's actually covered in some sort of fur, which is very strange, very unique. This dino is going to be pretty cool when it gets added into the game, that's if it's going to get added into the game. I'm not too sure whether this is for certain or for not, it doesn't have a name, it's just called the quadruple question mark, as far as I'm aware, and that was the same for the first one that got released as well. For those of you who never saw the first one, it is this little guy here. It, taking a look at it, it reminds me of some sort of cat. If this guy was to come into the game, I'd imagine he'd be roughly the same size as a saber. He has claws, it looks like he would run fast, he looks like some sort of cat-like creature. He even has like the cat-like type of tail, looks like it's kind of swaying side to side, it's not some sort of heavy tail like the Ankyla would have. Looks very agile and it's covered in a lot of armor, either chitin or keratin, I'm not too sure. But this dino definitely looks like it's going to be some sort of war dino. It's going to take a beating. I think it's going to have sort of the same ability as the Carbonamese or the turtle. I don't really know how you say the proper name of the turtle, so yeah. 
just call it a deal. Um, but it might have the same ability where it takes less damage. The damage is reduced due to the shell on its back, resisting it, keeping it alive. Now I think that this cat-like creature here may have that sort of ability. Uh, it's gonna, by the looks of it, it's very agile. It looks very fast. It's gonna be sort of similar to the saber, a more OP version of the saber, so to speak. This guy looks really cool. And it could possibly be able to climb walls in the future. I know they are talked about certain dinos being able to climb walls. The Arthropleura does climb over big rocks, but that's only the rocks that you can destroy. They're farmable ones, but I'm not too sure if they're going to branch the game off into allowing them to climb up structures and stationary like parts of the map, such as mountainsides, cliffs, stuff like that. You know, you know what I mean. So guys, apart from those two dinos, that has been some really, really exciting news. I know I didn't really talk about much about them in this video, but hopefully that's given you some sort of idea into the future of Ark. What Ark may have in store for us, I am hoping that we might get some sort of crossbreeding type of system. Obviously you're not going to be able to breed the two dinosaurs together, but hopefully you may be able to get like certain genes from a raptor, so to speak, and then from a wolf. Put them together in some sort of um, syringe or something. Mix them into this. Uh, mix them into an egg or something, and then end up getting your own custom baby. That's going to be pretty cool. And they're obviously going to have to find out a way to balance this because you might be able to get, you know, a trike with the ability to harvest chitin really well if you combined it with a wolf or something like that. Some crazy ideas like that. I'm not too sure how far they're going to go with this. Maybe you won't be able to even create them yourself. They may just be completely random. From getting a baby that hatches. May just be a complete random mutation. From a certain amount of hybrids that they add to the game. You can't really choose it. But then you get that sort of hybrid. That has been genetically modified naturally within the egg. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I just want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. It really does show your support and I really do appreciate it. If you have any thoughts on the future of ARK or any sort of things you'd like to ask or talk about, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I reply to literally every single person who comments. So feel free to comment. I will, you know, reply. We can have a little talk about it. It will be good to see your opinion on, on these hybrids and what the future of ARK may have. I'd like to see your view on the future of the game and what you'd like to see. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content, and I'll see you next time.